welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a tutorial on the two things, georeferencing and digitizing maps. Essentially, we get PDF images of maps and we plug them into the QGIS software and then from there we make sure to actually make these PDFs into editable data. So right here we have the OpenStreetMap and what we will do is add in a PDF. So I have a PDF or technically an image saved on a layer. Right here I will add my layer as a raster and I'll select it with this button right here. As you can see I saved up my Milano image and boom I added it right here. So if I zoom to that layer right now you can see a map of Milano, very old map which I want to have digitized. So I want those streets to be digitized so that I can compare what the streets back then looked like compared to what they look like right now. So to start off, I need to make sure that this map is actually overlaying the right location because right now it is somewhere in the middle of the sea. As you can see, I'm zooming out, I'm zooming out, I'm zooming out. It's just in the middle of the map essentially. And that's not what we want. We want it to be in Milano so that we can actually well compare the two. So to start out, we need to go to layer and click georeferencing. And we'll upload that same image once again. So you click this button and boom, right there, you have it. And what we'll do is add in points and find that same point on the actual map. So we'll click this one right here. So we'll click from map canvas and we'll zoom into Milano. Right now I selected this tower from the castle. Well, as you can see, we clicked that same point right now. Click OK. And we'll do the same thing with the other tower. Boom. Boom. And now we need to find. Oops, I think I messed up actually. Let me do that again. Right. And then click OK. So boom, we have two points in there right now. And then now we'll take this church for example, click the middle at the back, just try to find the most identifiable points on the map to make sure you have a reference point and then click those same points on the actual map. So right here we have this church and we clicked this point. Boom, the more accurate the better and the more points the better. Because, well, the spatial reference is what's going to make the most sense, and that means that the image is going to be projected onto your map the most accurately as well. So, we have three points right now, and let's see if we can find a point somewhere around here as well. Okay. Nice. Cool. That's looking more like it. As you can see, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. So yeah, I'm just kind of been playing around with those configuration types, like those settings. If let's try and add a cubic slide, it seems to do the job. And let's check the castle as well. Yes, these points are accurate as well. Okay, that's much better. I think I just checked the wrong sampling methods previous runs but this will do the job and what we want to do right now is digitize the map so we have a map that is seemingly reasonably accurate i think right here it's not as perfect as everything between the castle and the church but let's just say we want to get the streets in there most important is that we Get a vector layer set up. Let's do exactly that. Call it tree. Right. Oh, yes, I have to add in an actual phone. Never mind. I want to create a layer. My bad. Except for a click screen and give it a line stream of the magic type. And that's all we need. 
just gets fired. There we go. What we can do now is digitize this map by literally drawing in the street. The better would be to use the plugin that I just installed. And well, just try using exactly that. Toggle editing on a vector layer, then enable to autocomplete new geometries. So toggle editing. And it will autocomplete some things for us. So we'll click that. And it says to digitize with segment. We'll just start drawing maybe. It's going to have a hard time to actually identify the streets because a lot of them are like filled up with letters, especially the smaller ones. You cannot really read, which is, I mean, the reading is not as important, but you can really see that it is yellow. There it is, the street. I think AI will have some struggles with that. So let's try those streets in particular, as well as some of the bigger ones. That's a good start. And right now it should be able to autocomplete. Click or right click and get that ID frame. Digitize with segment, screen digitizer. Okay, now I'm screening. I'm not clicking every single time. RGB is even better. So this is already a far quicker, still not quick enough as we, if we can do it with AI. There we go, right click again. Two. But now I want AI to digitize it for me. I'm not entirely sure how this should work from here, so I'm going to turn the documentation for a second. It says to install the plugin, then create a vector layer, and add editing, then activate the AI using the icon below in the toolbar, which I did. In the pop-up, accept the terms of service, enter the same email you just signed up with, and copy your secret key, which I also did. Click on the AI icon again and create a new line segment to use the AI. Let's try exactly that once again. There we go, vectorize with AI. Let's go to AI's office right now. Let's see if we got something. Okay, wait, there's no. Is much more accurate right now, definitely. Oh, it is definitely still the the actual like grid lines. It is still selecting the grid lines as like actual streets, as you can see. But this is very quick, as you can see. That does definitely now display some of the actual streets, which is hilarious. It's much quicker. As you can see, I am not selecting these like routes, like it is scribbling a little bit. It's not like super accurate yet, but I feel like the more I draw, the more accurate it is going to be. So, just have to keep clicking, clicking, clicking. But right now it's going, it's, it's being decent, it's being decent. It's kind of like, 
the more you've drawn, the more accurate it will be. I just didn't realize it was working on it because I expected to do something completely automatically, which was a bit stupid of me to think about it. It is drawing me an arrow right now. Tree pattern, the way it looked on that other map which is decently comparable to what it looks like now. But this just wasn't geo-referenced that well, but the actual digitization is pretty accurate uh, in terms of lines. However, the lines itself are just, they could be smoothed out a little bit. Regardless, I hope this video gave you some insight onto how digitizing works and what it is and how you can actually apply it in your case. And same thing for georeferencing. I hope that gave you some insight into georeferencing as well. I'll see you in another video. It's been a lovely video.